So, it's here. What is it? Oh, it comes in a plain box. Because this, my friends, is a refurbished customer return. from it look and it tells you um, basically it's a screw fix screw fix refurbished 40cc petrol chainsaw and uh, they received six of something whether it was six chainsaws or six or something else we don't know but basically that's the sticker they got um, it's obviously been a customer return for some reason. I think maybe they just couldn't start it, you know. But you get a mixing bowl. And you get a file for filing your chain to keep it shot. You get the spark plug socket and your bar nut and screwdriver for doing the tensioning, handy tool, and... oh, hang on, one more, obviously you get the bag, which is handy, you also get a little screwdriver as well, so, you also get the saw itself, now, uh, this is a 16 inch, 16 inch bar chainsaw. Move you a bit close, because this is a 16 inch chainsaw. Now it's um, yeah, it's obviously a return for some reason. I'd love to know why it was returned, but we're not going to know that. But overall, oh, it's a bit. Bit monkey, bit dirty down here, so it's obviously been used. But the chain looks pretty clean. Whether they've changed that, I don't know. A few marks on the on the bar, um, but overall the casing looks pretty brand new. If that's had a repair there. That could well have had a repair there looking at that. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or not. Don't know. So get you off there now. I don't know if that's right or not. Not sure. Kinda looks right there. And it kinda looks like it's maybe that's maybe it's right, I don't know. But anyway it's it's there. So the condition of it is it's a lot new really. A little bit of dirt. I say that looks pretty clean. You know the exhaust looks like it's had nothing done to it at all. And apart from this crusty little nut there, a bit of dirt around it, you wouldn't really know to be to be fair unless she was really being picky about it. So that's it. Let me just pop you back in the stand and we'll have a little talk about it. So why, why buy a refurbished chainsaw? Well, I've been looking for a little chainsaw. I didn't want nothing too big. I didn't want nothing too small. Um, I'm not going to be felling 100 foot trees. This is just to do small jobs every now and again because I've, over this year I've, I've had a couple of offers to do a few little jobs and just haven't really had this tool to do it. So I've had to turn them down. One lady, a, a tree had fallen down, um, basically, and she just wanted it cutting up. And uh, I just wasn't in the position to do it at the time. It wasn't really a, even a big tree, but you didn't need a chainsaw to do it. But Anyhow, that's another story. So, overall, it's 
uh, in good condition. I mean, look, the filter's like brand new. Well, it is brand new, basically. It's not not been used. See, so I'd love to know what was wrong with it. I'd love to know why it got sent back. But you know, these are the things that we're just not going to know. Away. So yeah, back to the point. Why buy a refurbished chainsaw? Well, after having to look looking at used chainsaws, and they're all sort of round. I don't know. I think they're around the, the, for a used chainsaw. They're around about fifty pounds. You know, just for cheap stuff, really. They're not fifty pounds. I mean, there's the odd one that's like twenty pound, which doesn't work, and you need to work on it. And then there's like thirty pound ones that obviously you know they've they've looked like they've been through wars. So. Look, looking at this on eBay, this was £55.99 delivered. eBay had a promotion on where you got a percentage off. So this ended up costing me £51.51 pence delivered to my door. And it also comes with a one-year warranty. You're not going to get a one-year warranty from a used chainsaw. And let's face it, if you buy a used chainsaw, you're probably going to be straight into buying a new chain. Who knows, knows what. This should start up straight away, run straight away, and be absolutely spot on. As I said, it's got a warranty on it, so, you know. Um, so that's, that's basically the reason why I've decided to go this route, rather than buying a used chainsaw, which I know nothing about. Which could be, let's say, need a new chain, could have starting issues. You don't know, do you? You just don't know. And sometimes it's nice to have something new, that new car feeling. I'd never buy a new car unless I'd won the lottery, but you know, it'd be nice. So it's pretty lightweight, it's not 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 heavy. It's got the, the brake on it. And uh it's even got a little bit of fuel in the bulb, still. And there's nothing in the tank. So, place your bets on how many pulls it's it takes to start off. These are, I believe, if it's, I've got a, a hedge trimmer. If this is the same as the hedge trimmer, the hedge trimmer has like a, you pull it, but you don't pull it like a, like a pull. You're almost like pulling a spring. And when you've pulled the spring, once you've pulled it, that sort of recalls and that starts the, the motor up, I think that's how it works. I'm not sure if these are the same, but they are listed as an easy start um, system. So let's um, put some fuel in it and I will see you outside and we'll give it a run. So place your bets. How many pulls to start it?
well, as you can see, the start of the, it, it is that um, kind of spring start. Um, slightly different, I think, to the hedge trim, but it is that. So you're not, you're not there trying to fight it. You pull it, and it springs, and then it fires the engine up, and it started pretty easy. And it, well, you saw it, saw it how it caught. Um, obviously, it's it's going to cut. It's going to have a sharp chain on it. But it's um, it's lightweight. It's not, you know, for a first sort of chainsaw, it's not that kind of aggressive where it's going to try and take you with it. Obviously, you know, you've got to have your safety precautions and the rest of it. But for light jobs and you know, for the occasional use, I would say, you know, obviously, obviously, if you're a professional, and you're going to be firing up a chainsaw every day. This is not what you're going to buy. You know, you obviously would buy a still and spend a lot of money on one. But you know, this might this might only get used one once, twice, three, I don't know. How many times a year? Maybe half a dozen times, I don't know. It just depends, you know, if if, if the job's coming for it really. But for the price and for what it costs, and I say with a one year warranty, um you know you why would you buy a used one? It's it's crazy to me. You know, this this will um, do what I need it to do. Um, I say it's just an occasional job, and and um, yeah, basically. And um, the reason it the reason it cut out um, as well when we was at, I did actually flick the switch, turned it off when I sat it down. But apart from that, it fired up quite nice. It, it sounded nice. It it felt nice. It's got the anti-vibration spring on it as well, so it's not pan in your arms. So for fifty-one pounds and fifty-one pence, I'd say that's a bit of a bargain. What would you do? Would you buy a used one still? <laughs> a new one, reconditioned one, which. Say it, it would be lovely to know why, why it um, was returned. If you do have one of these chainsaws, does your handle look like this? I'd love to know that as well. So overall, I'm going to give this. It's got to be an eight out of ten, I think. You know, it's a Titan TTL seven five nine. CHN 41 centimeter 1200 revs per minute and it is manufactured on the 3rd of 2020 and I say it's just a little a little thing to uh, hopefully do a few jobs with and um, yeah it's got the side handle as well but yeah you know if you're looking for a little chainsaw Think about buying a, a reconditioned one. They're on they're on eBay. There's quite a few on e on eBay actually at different prices. Depending on us, I don't know. I don't know what why the different prices. To be fair, but say fifty one pounds, fifty one pence delivered to my door. You know, you, you saw it how it fired up first time I'd ever I'd ever run that. First time I ever used it, obviously. So yeah, I'm impressed with it. Um, yeah, like. What, what's what's the saying? Like, share, and subscribe. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers, people. So if you could help me out, it'd be much appreciated. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.